Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate every single subscription and every single click. You guys are doing the most. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. If you're new here, my name is Letabo and thank you so much for joining us today. Please click on that subscribe button so that you can become part of our small family. And also, we don't want you to miss anything that is uploaded on this platform and if you like this content please do give this video a thumbs up and also just leave your comment right below as always on this platform i shine light on some of africa's social issues and just talk about conversations that have remained taboo in our communities for a while well in this video it's no difference because today we're talking unemployment in africa being south african this subject really touches my heart as my country is said to have the highest unemployment rate in africa the continent is said to be experiencing unprecedented levels of youth unemployment and according to conversations.com these numbers are expected to increase given our rising youth population a few weeks ago, Stats SA actually announced that the country's unemployment rate currently sits on 34.4%, having increased by 1.8% from the first quarter of 2021. As I've already mentioned, this puts South Africa right at the top of that list of countries with the highest unemployment rates, followed by Namibia with 33.4% and Nigeria with 33.3%. And please take note that these states actually exclude those in vulnerable employment and those underemployed in informal sectors. Meaning that as Africa, we don't just have an unemployment issue, but we also have an issue whereby there's so many of our young people working in places that do not pay good wages, do not develop their skills, and also do not provide them job security. And of course, a few people may not exactly relate to this video because they have never been unemployed before, but I do think that a large percentage of Africans can relate to it and I know that many of us don't just relate to those numbers as they given to us 34.4% 33.4% we are actually those numbers and I also know that being unemployed is not just about being jobless or being broke it's also answering questions like Hanti when are you getting a job are you even applying why don't you start your own business what do you do throughout the day? You know, questions like that. Being unemployed is also being treated differently by your family because you are not bringing anything to the table. It is being unable to chill with your friends or not being invited to places because you cannot afford it. Being unemployed is much more than being jobless and broke. It's a constant wonder whether or not you chose the right cause in university. It's a constant wonder of why everyone else around you is doing well and you not. And I guess that's why on the 24th of August, when Stats SA published the unemployment rates, South Africans wanted to blow up the internet because of the pain of just being unemployed. The pain no one prepares you for in university. The pain no one tells you about when you're choosing your career path. The pain no one really understands unless they have actually been where you are. Well, I've given you a little bit of numbers and how this issue actually affects young Africans. However, I'd like to know from you, what do you think your government is doing to eradicate this issue? And also, do you think that they're doing enough? Because according to Nigeria's former education minister, Obi Ezekwesili, Please forgive me if I murdered that name. The cause of high unemployment rates and lack of opportunities in Africa is bad politics, that our politicians live for themselves. 
And with that said, I'm now passing the ball onto all unemployed Africans. What do you think that we can do to make our own lives better? Well, of course, this subject is very complex and we cannot exhaust it with just one video. However, we can continue the conversation in the comment section and also in our homes and with our friends. So please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to leave your comments so the conversation can continue. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Mwah.